Too bad PJ couldn't make it. <laughs> Look, what or who is that? Oh, that's Fred the Hen. You must be the treehouse detective. I'm Bianca, and this is Jacob. We're trying to solve a really big problem. Dogs are barking and keeping us up at night and in the early morning. I heard about that in the news. We think that a really loud sound might be making them bark. We're researching sound. We like to learn how you deal with sound problems. Well, I'm a psychoacoustician here at National Language Research Center. That's a really big word. I don't think I can even say that. So what do you do here? Well, as a psychoacoustician, I design, conduct, and analyze tests that investigate the psychological effects of noise on people. Let me show you one of my labs. Is this a real plane? Uh, no, this is a fake. But we go up in real planes, we make recordings, and we bring them down to the lab, and we modify them. Then we can play them back to people in here and find out which kind of sounds they prefer. So what kind of sounds do people prefer? Well, quiet ones, really. We hear from 20 vibrations per second to 20,000 vibrations per second, and the low frequency ones bother us less than the high frequencies. For instance, have you heard a piece of chalk scratching on a chalkboard? Yuck! Well, that's a high frequency sound. What about dogs? Do they hear differently from us? Well, I'm not an expert on dogs, but I know dogs can hear higher frequencies than we do. They can hear very high frequencies. Come on, let's go. So, we need to find out what kind of things make very high frequency noises. What about machine or factory? They both might be possibilities. That could be it. It could be a noise from a nearby factory. We might have the answer. You mean the hypothesis. You need to go and talk to my friend the veterinarian. His name's Dr. Gooding. Oh, here he is. He's right around the corner. Great. I love going to pet hospitals. I'll call my parents and see if it's okay. <laughs> I wonder what kind of meat pets we will see today. Hi, we're the Treehouse Detectives. We're here to see Dr. Gooding. Please come this way. How can I help you? Thanks for helping us. I'm Jacob, and this is Bianca. Have you heard about the dog barking problem on KSNN? Yes, I have. I know it's keeping a lot of people up at night. Tell me about it. We need to know if dogs hear sound differently from us. Whoa, look at that big dog. I know he can hear us. Yes, dogs tend to hear at a much higher frequency than human beings. This means they can hear sounds that the human ear cannot hear. Dogs can hear sounds between 67 hertz and 45 kilohertz. Now, people can only hear between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz. Do the insides of dogs' ears look like ours? What? That's actually a good question. I have something to show you. Let's go, guys. All right. Let's take a look in Miller's ears. Actually, the anatomy of the human ear is similar to that of the dog. Those are actual pictures of Millie's ears. However, dogs have some equipment or parts that might have better hearing. For example, dogs tend to have a longer ear canal that might allow sound to be funneled or directed into the hearing apparatus. It's a lot like this funnel. Something that is used to direct water into this bottle so that you don't spill it. why dogs can hear noises at higher frequencies. They can hear things that we can't. That's true. Dogs used to be wild before they were domesticated. They had to survive by finding food and escaping predators. Therefore, they might have had to depend on their ears to survive. That's cool. Dr. Gooding, do you know any good examples of high frequency sounds? Hmm, let's see. Are you familiar with dog whistles or pest zappers? These are good examples of high-frequency sounds. Thanks, Doctor, for all your information. We'll see you later.